Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back today with Baller TV as we're here at the Montverde Academy Invitational Basketball Tournament. Very excited about today's matchups, and we're going to start off with Sunrise Christian Academy Buffaloes out of Kansas against the Wasatch Academy Tigers out of Mount Pleasant, Utah. And we saw some very good basketball yesterday, Garrett. What do you expect today? I expect another great game from Sunrise, one of the best defensive performances so far of this tournament. And that's going with Kenny Chandler, Bruce, with six steals. That was by far the biggest blowout yesterday with Sunrise Academy over La Lumiere. Uh, Kenny Chandler, with those six blocks, also had 20 points. Uh, Kendall Brown had 14, Willie Lightfoot 13, and Grady Dick had 12, four players in double digits. If you think that's impressive, Garrett, Wasatch Academy, all five of their starters yesterday were in double digits, led by Nolan Hickman with 20. That's that 20 point club. He's in the running for that all first team. And I'll say Wasatch has lived up to the reputation of absolute building relationships. So I expect good team play, another great game, Bruce. I think we're in store for some exciting basketball. I mean, we started yesterday with, with a blowout and ended yesterday with an overtime basketball game. Just absolutely fantastic game last night between Arizona Compass and the home team, Montverde Academy. Oh, it had everything you wanted in a great ball game. It had the ups, the downs. It had an injured player coming back to seal the victory for the team. And of course, an overtime and from a team that nobody really knew about. Arizona Compass, who are they? Yeah. Well, clearly Sunrise Academy is a very, very deep ball club. Uh, number five team in the country. Number eight team, I'm sorry. And uh, they are, I'm sorry, Sunrise is number two team. So the number two team in the company are 12 and one, 13 and one now after their victory yesterday, having lost only to Montverde Academy by six points. So uh, they are the number two team in the country. And we're looking at some really good basketball here this afternoon. Also out of Wasatch, who is a notoriously strong college or high school preparatory team. Um, very good, very good basketball. Absolutely. And again, I'm looking forward to that matchup, Bruce, with Sunrise and Montford Academy. But Arizona, that's going to be a fun team to watch the rest of the season. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, yesterday or uh, today earlier, we were watching uh, warm-ups as uh, we're supposed to do and uh, Richard Isaacs was just lighting it up from behind the arc. Now, I, I don't know if he's going to shoot like that in the basketball game, but his uh, warm-up today, I mean, he was literally hitting 75, 80% from behind the arc. Yeah, I, I, I had him for one missed shot and that was crossovers. He had the eye of the tiger, Bruce. And when yeah. I see that eye of the tiger, expect yeah. good things. Yeah. Kendall Brown in the center to uh, tip it off along with Fusayan and Traore, and that's the last time I'm going to try that name. Today, we're going to just call him Fus. Sunrise gets the tip. Front now, they around the poto. There's Chandler. Chandler now back out front, tries to penetrate, does so, lays it in off the glass. Very nice job to open this game by Kennedy Chandler. And Bruce, you said expect good things from Chandler. He was the leading scorer for his team last go around. There's Isaacs out front now, off to Armbrester, inside to Gale. Gale tries to get inside, now has to back it back out. Over on the side to Hickman. Hickman, another 20 point scorer yesterday. Gale now to Armbrester. Armbrester in the lane, off the glass, no good. Rebounded by Chandler, up ahead to Brown. Brown lays it in. Downtown Brown, baby, and he's very good at just getting to that open lane. Sunrise opening up with that strong defense already. Isaacs, dish inside, nice dish from Isaacs to Armbrester. Chandler inside to Poto. Poto backs his man down. Post move, right-handed hook, and gets the roll. Nice job by Poto. Nice deep three. And Hickman hits from three. A little bit uh, quick pace here this afternoon. Ooh. Kendall was looking at the yeah. same thing. <laughs> ah, not strong enough. And that guy is the beast. We all remember him last game. That is Fusani, or it's like Bruce said, we're calling him Fus. 
Taken back away, laid in. Oh, he misses an easy layup. Brady Dick, unusual for him. He's pretty solid inside and out. Oh, yeah. Hickman drives inside, dishes again. That's Armbrester who lays it in on the over-under. And Wasatch has taken their first lead of the game. Tight game as expected, Bruce, seven to six. Kendall Brown out front. Off to Brady Dick. Now, Kenny Chandler. Chandler for three. Nope, that was Poto. Poto for three. The big man steps outside and nails a three-pointer. Just so wide open. I didn't expect that three, Bruce. Arm Brester over to Gale. Gale makes a move to get inside in the lane. Turn jumper, right-handed, and it's good. Nice touch. Nice touch with Gale. We saw that last game. Great shooting percentages from both teams thus far in this first quarter. All the way in, Kennedy Chandler, and it's easy to make buckets when you're shooting from that close. Kennedy Chandler with a beautiful lay-in. You know, Bruce, you talked about that field goal percentage. I mean, these guys, were, they were shooting jump shots, all that good stuff, over 50%. Their free throws and their threes for Sunrise, they were hitting 50% from threes. Isaac's first three-pointer is uh, an air ball after we watched his layups. Now we've got Armbrester inside. Hickman out front. Deep three from Hickman. That one's off the back of the rim, rebounded by Chandler. Chandler up ahead to Brown, who loses it, and Hickman picks it up for Wasatch. Great Isaacs, defense from Wasatch. Isaacs with a step in three, no good. Poto with the rebound off to Chandler. See what Chandler's got cooking. Does he want it? He does. Three. Good. Deep three from Chandler, and it's a oh, beautiful shot. They let him get those feet set. When he gets those feet set, he's deadly. Armbrester all the way strong. Oh, beautiful block from Zachary Clements, chairman of the boards. My goodness, have gracious. He just Woo. gave me a high five all the way up here, Bruce. Jeez. Beautiful block from the big man. Already good defense from both teams and some pretty hot scoring. 14 to nine, Sunrise. Hickman's gonna bring an inbound. Looking for Isaacs, finds him. Isaacs in the corner, now penetrates beautifully, loses it inside the lane. Looks for a call, doesn't get it, and Chandler brings it across the timeline for Sunrise. Poto fakes the three in the corner now to Grady Dick. Dick struggles on the baseline, knocked out of bounds by Wasatch. Good hands, Casey Jones, number 20. All right, pressure's gonna be on Foos coming down low here, see if he can stop the shot, but uh... Willie Lightfoot, they're gonna let him shoot that oh. left-handed three, and you can count that one. Hickman now out front, double team, they back off. Inside to Foos, Foos from the elbow, no good. Rebound by Poto. Chandler up ahead to Akins. Akins fakes the three, nice dish inside to Kendall Brown who lays it in beautifully. And we've got a timeout by Wasatch as they find themselves down 10. Bruce, his eyes were to the right and he threw to the man to the left. Great find. Nice no look, faked the three, drew the defense, got it inside and Kennedy Brown, Kendall Brown did a great job of finishing. A little interesting tidbit that we found out before the game, Kendall Brown's father played for the Harlem Globetrotters. No way. That's way. Wow. Well, you can see that athleticism. He's got great skill. That was a trick shot right there. By the way, he led all assists. Last game with five assists. Sunrise Christian has uh, started clamping down with their defense that we uh, saw a lot of yesterday, and now they find themselves up by 10 with 3.08 to go in the first quarter. It's a pace that I think favors Sunrise Christian. Well, Bruce, with eight minute quarters, if you can have 20 minutes a quarter, that is huge. And it looks like already on a start to a high scoring game. Yesterday, Sunrise Christian played 11 players and Wasatch only played nine, so Sunrise Christian a little deeper, a pace like that, you gotta have a deep bench. Hickman now tries to get inside, can't do it. 
The defense is just stifling right now. Foo sets the pick. Poto does a nice job of coming off the pick. Now they find Gale in the corner, no good. Rebound by Casey Jones. Back out to Hickman and they reset the offense. You know, every good team has a good defensive nickname. What do you give Sunrise? Nice three. Yeah, that was, that was a two-pointer. Uh, two-pointer by Hickman. There it is in the corner, no good this time. Willie really Lightfoot misses. Wasatch with the rebound, Foos comes down with it, and Hickman tries to get inside. Gale for two, and he got it. Smooth shot from Gale. I got a nickname, Offense Sunrise, Defense Sunset, lights go. out. Kennedy now out front, Kendall Brown, back to Kennedy, back over to Aikens. And Kennedy pulls the trigger from deep and hits another three. Not afraid to shoot the basketball and uh, got a reason for that. He's pretty darn good at it. Foose loses it inside, now backs out to Hickman. Hickman for three, no good. Rebound by Aikens. Aikens quick to bring it up the floor. It gets stopped by Hickman. Now inside, big man loses it. Stolen away now by Kendall Brown into the corner, Willie Lightfoot. Brown back out front. Again, wide open, Kennedy. <laughs> wide open. Kennedy Chandler hits another three. Just great shooting, 25-14. About a minute left to go in the ball game. Sunrise Christian having scored 25 points already here in this first quarter. On pace to score 100. Our man Isaac lights out in pregame. I'm looking for that guy to come up bigger. Isaac uh, has yet to score here in the first quarter. Well, if you're saving it up, don't save it up too late. No. No. Nolan Hickman going to bring it in the rounds for Wasatch. Casey Jones now. And Isaacs with the ball out front into the corner to Hickman. Hickman guarded by Aikens. Hickman goes inside, can't make the bucket. It's a shot clock violation, failed to touch the rim. Turnover to Sunrise Academy. Once again, Bruce, that sunset defense for Sunrise, just too much. They cannot seem to get it to the big man. And that was the problem for the Indiana team, La Lemire, last night. You're starting to sound like Fiddler on the Roof. Sunrise, sunset, sunrise, sunset. <laughs> Play on because we got sweet music with the Sunrise team. There it is. Left hand shot, no good. Gets his own rebound, back up, and he gets the roll. Nice job there by Zachary Clements for Sunrise. Isaacs tries to get inside, can't do it. Inside of five seconds to play, drives into the lane, penetrates, dishes nicely to Roddy Gale. Right at the end of the first quarter, beautiful job there by Isaacs to find Gale for the slam dunk. Oh, much needed momentum changer. Nothing gets the crowd or the team going like a good dunk at the end. 27-16 is your score at the end of the first half, first quarter. Again, Sunrise on pace to score over 100 points in this basketball game, which is almost unheard of in high school because you only got you only play 32 minutes. You, you got to average over three points a minute in order to uh, score 100 in high school. Hey, don't check my math here, but do. In an NBA game, 12 minute quarters, if you do that formula, you're looking at almost a 40 point quarter. That's right. Very impressive by Sunrise and held Wasatch to only 16. So it wasn't just a great offensive performance by the team. But we saw this yesterday, Bruce. Both teams start strong and finish strong, so expect more of this good play for the rest of the game. Really exciting basketball, for sure, to start this tournament here on the second day. And thanks again to Baller TV and our good cameraman over there, Mr. Jose, in the house. I think. Coach Barnwell has to be very happy with his effort from Sunrise. Looks like uh, Paul Peterson over there for Wasatch 
little bit more animated during that break. Casey Jones inside to Isaacs to start the second quarter. Sunrise shot 55% last game against Oak Hill. Isaacs loses the ball inside. Pass up ahead. We've got a reach in foul. It's on number four, Brennan Rigsby. I believe that's the first foul call of the game. Rigsby, I believe, was a famous English soccer player for the 1964 World Cup. Gosh, he looks pretty good considering that he's that old. <laughs> Could be a family member. Akins gives off inside. That's Whittle Lightfoot with the left hand. She's he can shoot from the outside and play on the inside. Isaac. Isaac's Here now comes Isaac. 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 Man, no good. good. Defense. Akins brings it down. Oh, we've got a traveling call against Sunrise. They lead 29-16. Good call inside. Jalen McDaniels took steps. Hey, Bruce, let's go over that stat sheet we just got for the first quarter. What jumps out at you, first of all? Well. Chandler the, Kennedy? Yeah, 27 points uh, in that first quarter is very impressive. 13 of it coming from Kennedy Chandler, yeah. Four assists to go with yeah. that man, too. What a hot start. Isaacs pulls the trigger from That's three. It. There he is. Now he's in the ball game. That's it. That's what we saw in pregame. Isaacs for three, makes it a 10-point game. Sunrise with the ball. Willie Lightfoot now at the point. Pulls up from the elbow, and he hits a rainbow elbow 16-footer. He was not scared, Bruce. <laughs> Saw him on the previous possession go inside and make an incredible basket amongst the trees. Isaacs, they're really double-teaming Isaacs out on the perimeter, and rightfully so. A miss there by Gale. Sunrise with the rebound. Lightfoot drops it off to Brady Dick. Dick goes inside, misses the layup. Looks like he was hammered in there by Foos. No call. Now Gale for three. Count it. Good shot. Nice form. Wasatch cuts it to double or single digits. Inside six minutes to play in the second quarter. Brady Dick out front. Gives off to Akins. Akins to Lightfoot. Oh, he's looking hungry. He's probably going to dish out last second. Three. Deep three. Zachary Clements fails to convert. Wide open three point shot. Here comes Isaacs. Eye of the Tiger passes off to the corner. There it is. That's Gale. Gale for three. We've got a six point game. So Wasatch has drugged themselves back into this basketball game with hard work and good shooting. Looks like we got Brown checking back in in just a moment. Well, Kennedy Chandler's been on the bench too during this stretch. There's a three by Lightfoot, no good. Rebounded by Gale. Gale tries to dish it to Foose, but stolen away by oh, Willie Lightfoot. Up ahead, stolen steal. away by Hickman. Steal for steal. Here Another we go, nice Gale. Pass from Willie Lightfoot. Inside to Foose. Foose with the layup, and it's good. And we've got a four-point game here, and I believe, yes, Coach Barnwell calls a timeout, and rightfully so, as his team has given up a 12-point lead down. Yeah, Foos has some breathing room and made that baby look easy. He's a big fella. He's hard to get out of that lane once he's in there. You get that ball inside like that. Let's go over that sunrise defense. We got two steals from Poto. Poto. The two steel man and a nice three to finish that first quarter for him. It was a nice answer by Wasatch right now. They were in, in danger of really getting blown out of this gym after that first quarter. And they've only given up four here in the second after and with over three minutes gone. Uh, after giving up 27 in eight minutes. So uh, definitely a good answer from their defense. Yeah, we talked about that hallmark of good teams. They're never out of the ball game. Yeah, we, we, we noticed that uh, Coach Peterson was a little animated over there during that sec first quarter break. And 
his team's responded to his passion. Inside, Kendall Brown lays it in, and he's fouled. Gale commits the foul. Kendall Brown's going to go to the line for the old-fashioned three-point play. Did you see that NBA move? Brown yeah. maintained control in the air with a finish. <laughs> I think uh, The Rock would be proud of that one because that was a pretty strong arm bar right there. <laughs> I think everybody realized truly how strong these players are. What makes them the best is pure genetics and a focus. Speed and uh, speed and strength, hard to beat it. All right, he completes the three-point play. Sunrise back up by seven. Now Isaacs with a deep three, in and out, no good. Fuso with a strong rebound, put back two points for Fuso. Did we just watch a replay? Because there he goes with a little window of opportunity, makes the same basket. This time off an offensive rebound. Inside there, Zachary Clements is rejected at the ball. What a block there by Foose. Hickman goes inside, can't finish. Ball stays here with Wasatch. And Kiba is like his twin, number 13 there. Just strong, long, and very active around that defensive basketball. Hickman looks inside, now has to go back out to Kiba. Isaacs on the front, Hickman now. Tries to force it in, can't do it. Isaac's back out front. Foos on the perimeter. Gale Could now looking to penetrate. Foos was open, Gale took the shot, made it. Nice bucket, 34-31 now. Wasatch back to within three after trailing by 12 in this game. Zachary Clements has had a rough offensive game thus far tonight. Back to Isaac, Isaac wants it, three. Oh, had a chance to tie it up. Brought down by Aikens though for Sunrise as he turns the offense into defense. So there's a three pointer from Aikens, no good. Here, rebound Kiba. Yeah, Kiba with a big strong rebound. Isaac's now trying to penetrate, does so. Along the baseline, back out front to Gale. In the corner, Isaacs was open, didn't pull the trigger. Hickman setting up nice, wanting the ball. Is he going to go for it? All the way. Hickman with a 10-foot runner off the glass, no good. Rebound by Kendall Brown. Brown a little out of control, but manages to get it back out front to Aikens. Kennedy Chandler back in the game now for Sunrise. Aikens out front, Zachary. Oh, they called a block. Looked like he was going to call a charge there. The official that at first close. put his hand on the back of his head and then decided to call a block. Mm, credit card charge. So Zachary Clements is going to go to the line to shoot two. Impressed with Aiken's play. You know, that's the thing when you have good players. I mean, really, who's going to start? Right, Aikens has come off the bench here tonight. Coming off the bench, is that 13 points? No, no, no. That's, uh, I don't think they've caught up oh, okay. yet. Okay, yeah. I got you. That's Kennedy Chandler with 13. And Roddy Gale leading all scores with 15 points for Wasatch. Zachary Clements hits his first free throw. He's going to get another one. Sweet shot for the big man, converts both. 36-31, Sunrise over Wasatch. Nice attempt to get inside. They find the big man. Kiba. Kiba with a nice lay-in off an offensive rebound from Armbrester. Yeah, Bruce looking forward to Isaac to get in this ball game. Doesn't have Hickman in the game. I look for Isaac to try to make a little run for him. Armbrester is a little vocal out there asking his team to come on, pick it up. Nice move by Poto, can't convert. And he fouls on the attempt at an offensive rebound. Poto had an easy look at the basket, just couldn't get it to fall and then committed a foul as he tried the offensive rebound. Wasatch gets the ball, down by three with two minutes to go here in the first half. There you go, Foos, back to Isaac. Isaac looking to make a move. 
Tries to get it inside to Foose. Hey, Foose. one on one here, he's got a chance, Bruce. Back to the basket, good, good recovery defense by Kendall Brown with the steal. Brown a little out of control sometimes, but he manages to get the lay in anyway. Lucky that ball didn't get out of his hands. Again, great control, Isaac driving. Dishing. Yeah, he pushed off, Bam. Isaac's pushed off there. Good call from the official. Clearly used that left arm to create space. But you know, whistle blows, I appreciate that art at the end. What a dunk. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, it doesn't matter. Except, I bet Jose probably got it on the highlights. Yeah, score or no score, impressive. <laughs> 130 to play, Sunrise up by 38 with the leather. Up by five, 38-33 with the leather. Willie Lightfoot walks it across the floor. Guarded out front by Brennan Rigsby. Now Kennedy Chandler goes inside, lays it in. The quickness of that young man with the basketball in his hands is very impressive. Combination of him and Brown, they can pretty much get to that basket anytime they want. Foose out front, gives to Rigsby. Rigsby back to Foose, inside to Armbrister, who slams it on an under basket. Nice job. All right, under a minute, 40 to 35, Sunrise. I think Coach Barnwell is uh, having a discussion with the official about Armbrester's um, histrionic, shall we say, for lack of a better term. He's, he's uh, very vocal and, and uh, almost taunting, and I think Coach Barnwell wanted the officials to know his thoughts about that. Well, it all begins with communication. Coach K for Duke, he is absolutely focused at all his players. Communicate, communicate, absolutely. So good job, Armbrester. Yeah. I want to know that man right there taking care of the sweat on the floor. Most important man. So many injuries because not enough mopping goes on. Three seconds to go here in the first half. Sunrise up by five after leading by as much as 12 in this basketball game. And that full court press, Bruce. Broken easily by Willie Lightfoot. Finds Poto, Kendall Brown oh! inside the lane with a slam dunk. Beautiful <laughs> dish by Poto. Man, can't wait to see this guy at the next level and hopefully the NBA. Wow, beautiful slam by Kendall Brown, again, whose father was a Harlem Globetrotter. Hey, that man's six foot eight with those skills. Very impressive. Inside to Foose. Foose guarded by Poto. Kendall Brown there ready for the double team. Out front, Armbrester pulls up for three. Bad shot taken down by Kennedy Chandler. Chandler tries to go the distance and throws it away. Looked like it was off of Wasatch. Don't think the officials caught it in time. No, no. One official looked for help, did the right thing, and the other official said he didn't see it, so they stayed with the original call. Hey, when in doubt, keep the call. That's right. So Hickman brings it all the way down the floor, back out front. The big man shoots the three, no good. That's <laughs> halftime score. 42-35 Sunrise on top of Wasatch. We're here live on Baller TV, bringing you this tournament at the Montverde Academy Invitational Basketball Tournament. And welcome back to Baller TV. Great first half of action, Sunrise Christian 42, Wasatch 35. One thing to point out here real quick, Wasatch, two key players, Richard Isaac, one from seven from the floor, one of five from threes. Nolan Hickman, two of seven, one of four from the three-point line. Definitely we're gonna look for them to kick it up the second half, but highlight for Wasatch, Roddy Gale, six of seven from the floor, three from three from downtown, finishing with 15 points in that first half. But let's go to Sunrise Christian Academy where we got the leading scorer, Kennedy Chandler, 15 points and absolutely perfect from the field. Six for six for field goals, three of three from three-pointers. And Bruce, I wanted to point out this first half stat. 
Sunrise, 60% from the floor, 55% from three. Very tough for a team to maintain that for the second half. I look forward to Wasatch coming back. All right, second half underway. Sunrise with the ball. Start the second half, out front to Poto for three. Poto, the big man, steps up and hits a three. Nice start for Sunrise. Bigger game so far for Poto. Steal, that's Chandler, and Poto with the inside, no call. He got hammered inside on his arm. No call from the official. Turnover and Wasatch comes away with the basketball. Brester thinking about little crossover move. Dishes out last second. Good hand, Sunrise. Late whistle from the official as they call a foul. Roddy Gale tries to penetrate. Hickman's going to bring it out of bounds for Wasatch. Sunrise once again with a double-digit lead for the second time in this game. Gale almost lets that one get away from him on the inbounds pass, brings it back across the timeline. Armbrester to Hickman. Hickman just inside the three-point line. Isaacs, they have done a good job of closing down Isaacs here in this ball game tonight. Wow, you see three defenders coming right away to Foos. Back to Foos. Foose back to the back basket, to the he's basket. going for it. Strong strip oh. foul. Pretty good defense there from Zachary Clements, but the uh, official sees it otherwise, calls a foul, and calls it on the shot. I thought if that foul occurred, it was on the floor if there was a foul, but uh, they're gonna send Foos to the free throw line shooting too. <laughs> I think Coach Barnwell agrees with me on that call. Well, referees saw him go in that upward motion. Foos hits his free throw, nice job for the big man. Cuts it to a single digit lead now here as we're early in the third quarter. Again, Bruce, look at that stat for Wasatch. Low field goal percentage, two star players started off on a rocky start, but Sunrise with such a hot first half performance, can they maintain it, Bruce? Kennedy Chandler now bringing it across the line. Kennedy goes all the way in, dishes it to Poto, had an easy dunk, but he lost the ball. Gets it back now trying to penetrate inside and it's blocked by Foose. Big man got off the ground and blocked that shot from Poto. Poto was his own worst enemy on that one. Hickman pulls up for three, grazes the rim, no good. Rebound by Kendall Brown up ahead to Chandler. Chandler lays it in. Nice job there by Kendall Brown off that off the defensive rebound. Up ahead to Kennedy Chandler for the easy deuce. Just great communication. Foose now being guarded by Poto. Poto holds his ground, gets some help from Zachary. Now Gale, the 12 foot jumper, no good. Poto with the rebound, almost knocked away. No foul called, and Kennedy Chandler comes across the line. Nice job inside from Grady Dix with a beautiful drive and a lay in. Sunrise Christian opening up that big lead here to start this third quarter. Armbrester inside. Again, they call a foul inside on what appeared to be a pretty good block. Hey, Grady Dick showcasing some good fundamentals there, Bruce. He kept that ball nice and high all the way to the basket. Excellent drive and lay in from Grady Dick. Boy, Coach Barnwell not real happy with the officiating thus far in this half. I'm not sure I disagree with him. I thought overall we've had some really good officiating in this tournament. A first free throw for Wasatch for the whole game. Starts off with a miss. Yeah. It just hit two. Faust just hit two. Faust. Armbrester. Second one, no good as well. He misses them both. Rebound by Zachary Clements. Clements across the timeline, being held big time by Armbrester. They finally blow the whistle this time. It's in his name. Zachary Clements is fouled by Armbrester. Sunrise will get the ball out of bounds. 
Kendall Brown to bring it in. He finds Poto. Off to Kennedy Chandler, who wanted to dish, but really had a wide open shot, decided he was going to try to dish. It was too late to make that decision, and he almost turned it over. Good job, Poto, on that nice feed. Absolutely. Had him wide open, and Kennedy tried to make one pass too many. Poto's going to end up at the line, though. See if the big man can hit his free throws. First one's good. Nine points for Poto. Two of those from behind the arc. Second free throw. Good again. Love to see the big men hit their free throws. Biggest lead of the game now for Sunrise Christian is they're up by 14 here. Still early in the third quarter. Armbrester penetrates inside. Zachary Clements, good defense. Poto with the defensive rebound. Off to Kennedy Chandler. Chandler with a nice dish inside to Brown. And he's fouled by Hickman. What a beautiful pass inside. Great passing, great execution on the money. No hesitation, good communication. Foul was on the floor, so there'll be no shooting. Poto sits. Yeah, big high five for Poto from the bench. Jalen McDaniel. Played well. Jalen McDaniel replaces him. Zachary Clements, now Jalen McDaniel. Inside to Kennedy, Kendall Brown. Kendall Brown shoots, nope. But he's fouled, so he'll go to the free throw line now. Whistle starting to go in the way of Sunrise Academy. Maybe Barnwell had some effectiveness when he was chatting with the officials, leisurely chatting with the officials. And we noticed Jalen McDaniels in the ball game for the first time. Let's see what he can do. He had a pretty good game last game. Free throw, good from Kendall Brown. Kendall Brown kind of has that sideshow Bob haircut going on there from the Simpson. Second free throw is no good. 15 point lead for Sunrise as Isaacs brings it up the floor. Boy, we haven't said his name a lot tonight. No, and I'm Gale. sure he's disappointed with that. Gale for three, no, off the front of the rim. And right now, Wasatch is looking tired. Their shots are short. They're not getting back as strongly on defense as they did in the first half. Brady Dick guarded out front by Isaacs. Dick for three, no good. Zachary Clements gets the rebound, however. Offensive rebound, dishes back out front to Kendall Brown. Brown penetrates inside. Back out to Dick in the corner. Inside now they tried to go to Kennedy Chandler, no good, Gray. Call a charge. Hickman ready for that. I noticed Wasatch doing pretty good on the offensive rebounds. In that first half, they had five. That was a uh, little hesitant call from the officiating crew right now. They call a charge, but both of them, they looked at each other at first to see who was going to make the call. And then finally, the official on the sideline called the charge. I think it was the right call. It just. Uh, Got to be a little bit more assertive on those calls if you're official. Well, these players are playing oh. at a speed like few do. Kendall Brown loses it. Ill-advised behind the back dribble. Isaacs tries to go inside. He's blocked by Zachary Clements. And now Armbrester with the rebound and the putback. And he's fouled by Jalen McDaniels. Big man move. Armbrester built like a Greek god. Armbrester to the line with a chance to finish a three-point play almost halfway through this third quarter. You know, that makes him six for 10, Bruce. So far, he's the shooter for this team for Wasatch. Free throw is good. We're down to 12 with that three-point play. Big trap there by Wasatch in the corner, and it works as Akins gives it up off to Hickman in the corner for three, and it's good. That's six unanswered real quick from Wasatch Academy. The steal on the full court press. They keep going to that corner, and they're getting trapped, and it's almost stolen again by Wasatch, but Sunrise gets. Hickman there, two for five. Hopefully he gets on that hot finish. Zachary Clements takes a position on the bench. 
He's replaced by Willie Lightfoot, who's going to come in try to beat this press. It's a two-man trap, and it's working right now. Sunrise is struggling. They turn the ball over again on this press. Sunrise having trouble beating this press. Coach Barnwell might want to call a timeout and talk about it for a second. A little taste of their own medicine, Bruce. We saw Sunrise press pretty much that whole game against Oak Hill yesterday. Isaacs out front. Hickman now as they weave out front. Hickman with the ball gets a pick from Foose. Now Isaacs, Isaacs inside to Foose. He's got McDaniels on his back. Foose knocks it up, no good. McDaniels tips the rebound to Kennedy Chandler. Chandler going in and a slam dunk off an alley-oop pass to Aikens. Great eyes. And that's stolen away by Kendall Brown. Brown now goes inside. Can't get it to fall, but he's fouled by Foose. Flurry of activity right there by Sunrise Christian. Nice little hop step there by Brown. Beautiful move, beautiful steal, beautiful move to get to the basket. Couldn't finish, but he was fouled by Foose, so he's gonna shoot two. Armbrester having a conversation with the officiating crew now. And you see a lot of negatives from the, <laughs> shaking his head, no, 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 you're not right, young man. <laughs> Common expression today, my bad. Yeah. Kendall Brown's first free throw, rolls off the front of the rim and in. One more free throw to go, 2.57 to play here in the third quarter. Sunrise Christian up by 12. Make that 13 as Wasatch now with the ball, bringing it across the timeline. Again, looking for Isaac to step up that play here. It looks like Hickman's starting to get into a fashion roll. Isaac still only with three in this game. Foos inside, lays it off the glass, no good. Willie Lightfoot with the rebound, now dishes inside to McDaniel, struggles with it, but gets his own fumble and back into the goal. Taylor made. Beautiful job there by Jalen McDaniels. Uh, first he lost it, the big man, but picks up his own. Now we've got to push out front before the shot. That was Hickman trying to drive. I call that foul on. A lot of talking going on down there. Are they going to call that a shooting foul? You've got to be kidding me. That foul was on the floor 20 feet away from the basket. Well, Sunrise <laughs> up 58, 45, up yep. by 13. And they're going to give them those points. Hickman at the free throw line shooting two. Still having a conversation about this. So Foos takes a seat, and Kiba comes back into the game for Wasatch. Kiba a game changer just with his defense. First free throw is good. Inside, McDaniels blocked, but he forces it in anyway. Sheer strength of Jalen McDaniel right there. Off of the block from Kiba, still manages to get it in the hole, and he's fouled, gonna go to the free throw line. Wow. Bruce, these passes are getting better. Again, a no look. Just, here you go, buddy. Serve that dish. And the big man with their eyes wide open and their hands in a receiving position, able to convert the three-point play right there. You gotta love when the big men have their eyes open and their hands in a position to make the catch. These guards, as you said, are doing a great job of penetrating and dishing the ball off putting him in a position for the easy layup. Absolutely, anybody can start. It's all about the finish. Jalen McDaniels kicks that one. So Wasatch will take it out of bounds. They'll get a fresh shot clock. 61-46, Sunrise up by 15 with two minutes to go here. Armbrester tries to strong arm it in, can't do it. Up ahead to Kennedy Chandler. That's alley-oop attempt to Aikens. This time can't finish it. And we've got a traveling call on Armbrester, and of course, he's going to argue because that's what he does. 
Well, arm bro arm Brester, a strong man. But did you see how Brown held his own in the air? Absolutely, it's great defense right there, and, and arm Brester travel. That's all you can say about that. Kennedy Chandler brings it up across the floor, goes inside, lays it in the tip, and a tip by Jalen McDaniel, who's been extremely active right here. Oh, right man at the right time, McDaniel. Incredibly active by Jalen McDaniel since he's come off the bench. And Garrett, you called it. He had a great game last night and today has come off the bench to do a lot of the same. I mean, you almost don't see him out there except a great body, but he always seems to help at the right time. Stolen away by Kendall Brown. Knocked out of bounds here. Jalen McDaniel had an easy layup and I I'm not sure what happened there. I, I think he was thinking Kobe Bryant. I haven't seen a, a spin move like that since the Lakers in 2008. Uh, well, he lost it out of bounds, but it knocked off a of Wasatch. So Sunrise gets it back. Kendall Brown, now we've got a foul on Kendall Brown as the ball got loose. And he nice, tossed. <laughs> nice deflection. Arm. Brester. Toss Roddy Gale down to the ground. <laughs> yep. So getting a little little active out there right now. A lot of physical activity. So that's going to put Gale to the free throw line with the one and one. Well, with almost one minute left to play, I'm looking for a little bit more activity from Wasatch. We still haven't seen Isaac and Hickman get their shots going. Wasatch trails by 17. They made a strong comeback earlier in this game when they found themselves down 12. Free throw line is good at the one and one. You've got to make that front one to get the second one. Bruce, how about that game last night? Number one, Montford Academy against Arizona overtime. There's a second free throw, it's good. Number 10, Arizona came in and gave uh, the home team a pretty good showing last night. Akins now trying to beat the press again. Grady Dick in the backcourt, Akins up finally. They get ten. Chandler across the line. Here we go. Inside Whoa. Kimber Brown, blocked by Kiba, but they call a late whistle. Kiba brought that arm down. Good call from the officials. Wow, I think there was only one man on that floor that could have blocked that brown dunk, Kiba. Great effort there, both, but uh, Kiba definitely got him down low, if not across the arm. Unside a minute to play now. First free throw rattles off, no good. 15 point lead for Sunrise. And 14 points for Kendall Brown. I'm sorry. Yeah, Kendall Brown. Kendall Brown. Now he's got 15 point. as he hits his second free throw. Hickman penetrates inside. Step back shot, no good. Rebound by Jalen McDaniels. Jalen McDaniels has been solid on both ends of the floor since he came off the bench. In the corner to Grady Dick. Can't get the shot off, but he finds his man in the corner. That's Tyson Kennedy Chandler in the corner. Nice dish out from Grady Dick as he penetrated inside, dished it back outside. Chandler got the three. Bruce, I think it all started with that beautiful pick by Brown right there on the baseline that just opened up that lane for a beautiful shot. 67-38, largest lead of the game now for Sunrise Christian. They're up by 19. Go look to finish strong here for this quarter. Hickman, Hickman trying to get a, a shot off here. Defense shot action clock. too much. It's a shot clock violation. Great defense there from Sunrise. Well, first time we've seen that <laughs> violation for shot clock today. You don't see a lot of them in this tournament, that's for sure. These guys put the ball up, man. They're there's no waiting around, generally. Well, that's just great preparation from the coaching staff, making sure these boys are ready for that next level. They probably should put a little more time on the clock here, but I don't think Coach Barnwell is going to argue about that because he's got by 19 here. Shot there by Akins to end the first third quarter is no good. The third quarter score here on Baller TV from the Montverde Academy Invitational Tournament. This is the first game of day two. Sunrise Christian leads 67 to 48 over Wasatch Academy.
they were dancing over there across the way. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there they are. Yeah, there they go. <laughs> Uh, I tell you what, Gary, you cannot say enough about the professionalism of this tournament. High school tournament, you've got six of the top 20 teams in the country here in little old Montverde, Florida, and they are being treated like kings. You don't hear any complaints out of the teams or the coaches. They're being protected. COVID protocols are all being met. The staff here is incredible. I mean, from, as you pointed out, from the guy that wipes the floor all the way to the athletic director and the sports information director, Kennedy Casey Kesserling, the headmaster, just been incredibly accommodating for us and for everyone here attending this tournament. It's amazing that they put this tournament on every year. Oh, it's a clean machine. And again, that floor mopper man is my favorite guy. I get a potential at a million dollar contract. That's the guy I want to make sure is keeping that floor nice and dry. It's okay, Jose. He he, he says that about everybody. Don't he you're still his favorite. <laughs> Jose starts the fourth quarter with the ball for Wasach. Inside to Gale. Stolen away by none other than Kennedy Chandler. Oh, Aiken. Chandler off to Aikens. Oh, oh, oh man, what an acrobatic oh, shot from Aikens man. with the left hand. Absolutely beautiful. Inside now that was Isaac. Kobe Bryant. That was Kobe Isaac. Come on, baby. Get it in there. Isaac's just struggling here tonight. Foose gets the rebound. Grady Dick now with a nice left handed layup. Nice find from Kennedy Chandler. Full court pass. Bruce, you talked about that shot clock. No shot clock. That score, I don't think, is 71-50 <laughs> at the start of the fourth. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I'm not certain that Sunrise has gotten inside of 10 seconds on that shot clock here tonight. He Behind the back to pass to Chandler. Kendall Chandler for yeah. a nice little three tip. Back yeah. to him. Chandler, back out cola. Front. Zachary Clements. Clements goes inside over Casey Jones. Nice little bucket from 12 feet. Sunrise Christian is just incredible here this afternoon. 73-50, they lead Wasatch. Where did they get that energy? Isaac's just begging for a call, and the more he cries, the less he's gonna get a call. I mean, he just really frustrated with the officiating right now. Can't understand why he's not getting a call. Well, mind over matter, you just gotta put that head down and keep yeah. on pressing, my man. He's got three points today after a 13-point effort yesterday. Crossover dribble. The defense has just been stifling on him. They continue to stay on him. Bruce, we expected that from that sunset lights out defense from Sunrise. Little wrestling match going on, little sideshow. Ball will stay. They call that on Zachary Clements on the rebound. Stays here with Wasatch as they trail 23 points here with 6.20 to go in the basketball game. Yeah, it's amazing. Sunrise has started out with that same energy in the first quarter, and they're putting it on right here in the fourth. That's going to put Gale at the free throw line. Both teams in the bonus for the rest of this basketball game. We're going to see a lot of free throws probably. First free throw is good. Both teams have shot extremely well from the free throw line. You know, that sound never gets old, Bruce. We're talking about the swish. Second free throw is good as well. Wasatch going to continue to press. When they first put it on, they had some success with it. But Sunrise seems to have figured it out. Now Kendall Brown inside Poto and a nice block from Keita. Once again, only man on the floor that can make that block. And again, terrible three-point attempt from Isaacs. He is just really struggling. It's not like he's in and out or, I mean, he's just not, not on here in this bat. Before the game, he couldn't miss. During the game, can't hit. Could it be you want it so much that you try too hard? He's, he's a driving range superstar is what he is. Oh, nice job by Grady Dick inside. Oh, my. Lays it in, and he's fouled. He's going to go to the free throw line with an opportunity to three-point play. Team already up 75-52. Well, how many times do the great ones talk about a rhythm? 
how you want to get in a rhythm. Not too much, not too less, just right. In Mr. Isaac's defense, he, he, the Sunrise Academy defense on him out front has just been relentless. I mean, they, they clearly made it a point tonight to uh, stop that young man, and they've done a pretty good job of doing it. Yeah, hard to nice do backdoor cut right there by Grady. Oh. Can't get it. Now, that's a goaltending, no basket. Grady got inside. I think if Kiba would have left that alone, it would have gone in the hole, but um, he touched it as it was on the rim and going to lose that basket right there. When in doubt, leave it out. Sunrise. Bring the ball in, up by 24. They get it to Clements. Clements now gives it to Kennedy. Kennedy Chandler penetrates inside. This is to Poto. Poto back out front to Clements. Mm, he was set up for that three. Clements hammered on the outside by Gale, no call. Kennedy Chandler comes away with it. Nice teardrop. Poto with the tip back though. Chandler on the miss. Poto right there with the left hand tip back. There's Isaacs for three. No, he's missed again. How good has Poto been? Not what we expect out of Mr. Isaacs at all. Inside to Poto. Beginning of the game, going over that game plan. I'm not picking Poto as a guy to watch out for. They call the charge, charge on Kendall Brown. 448 to play. Sunrise Christian up by 26 points in this basketball game. Armbrester to bring it in for the Tigers from Utah. Hickman again five minutes down, trying to get something going for him and Isaac. Brennan Rigsby penetrates inside. Nice job off the glass over Clements. The little man over the big man. Rigsby. Clements drives inside. Poto misses the dunk, gets his own rebound. Now out front to Kennedy Chandler. I see that confidence building more and more with Poto, looking for a nice little jam session before this game is over. A lot of contact out front between the two number ones. Poto inside. Ball out of bounds off of Wasatch. Good defense by Gale inside. Gale checking his little tiptoe like a nice little quarterback throw to the receiver on the sideline. Make sure it's in bounds. Willie Lightfoot off to Grady Dick. Back to Lightfoot now. Lightfoot penetrates, brings it back outside. They're going to call it a double dribble on Willie Lightfoot. Bruce, many times in history, people get that last name truly based on the obvious. That guy has fast feet. Yeah. Uh, Armbruster inbounds to Richard Isaacs. Inside of four minutes to go in this basketball game now. Isaacs goes all the way in with the histrionics no call. Aikens, oh! oh! That's a poster dunk right there oh! over Rigsby. He just posterized Rigsby. Wow. Nice bucket there by Gale on the response. I think everybody in the gym was celebrating Aiken so much that they just let Gale get to the basket for an easy two. I think that was inspired by Poto. <laughs> That's got to be an ESPN top 10 moment right there. My goodness. It is for Baller TV. <laughs> Woo! Oh, there, uh, a lot of acting going on down low for Wasatch, but it's working, so keep it up. Man. I want to see that again and I again. Do. That was that was incredible. And he, Aikens is only 6'3". On the guy. I don't think there was much space. He just said, come up with me and you can uh, enjoy the dunk too. 6'3 uh, over 6'3. And I mean, he just slammed it look over. Look for Rick. Brown. Look for oh, Brown. Oh, nice dish from Aikens to Brown. Slam dunk on the alley-oop. We've got a timeout on the floor called by the coach. Woo, Coach Peterson said, I've seen enough. Jam session, three minutes left. I can't wait to what we see next, Bruce. <laughs> They're down by 26. Wasatch, and they haven't played that poorly today. They haven't, yeah, their two leading scorers, usually Hickman. Hickman's got 11, but Isaac's only has three. You know the story, great team, 
but a better team over here in Sunrise. Yeah, very, very impressive uh, performance again from Sunrise. They were, I thought yesterday, they were the most impressive team we saw out of the six teams we saw yesterday. I mean, give credit where credit's due, Arizona. Wow, incredible against yeah. number one Montverde, but Sunrise Montverde, I hope everybody is waiting for that matchup. And that's next Friday, 5 p.m. Number one against number, number two. two. Yeah, Sunrise looked like they got that extra in the tank. Come on, boys, talk it up. Who's going to get that dunk next? I thought we might see uh, some reserves coming out of that timeout for Sunrise, but nah, he's still got his, his top ballers on the floor here on Baller TV. Isaac's out front, over to Hickman. Hickman penetrates, steps back, just outside the three-point line. No good, rebound by Dick. Up ahead now to Aikens. Willie Lightfoot in the corner back to Aikens. Aikens looks inside to Jalen McDaniels. Willie Lightfoot now on the perimeter. They have slowed it down, Sunrise here, clearly. Not, there's a teardrop shot, no good, off the front of the rim. Wasatch gets their own rebound. Dale out front now. Sharpshooter. Yeah, Brennan Rigsby. Kind of makes a little redemption for that poster that's going to be all over Sunrise Academy. Rigsby. <laughs> Rigsby for a beautiful three there. He was on the wrong end of the best play oh, of the look tournament. Look at Aiken so trailing far. over there. I think Aiken's getting hungry for that ball. See what happens here. Grady Dick there. They find Aiken's in the corner inside to Daniels. Back out. Okay. Dick, Willie Lightfoot now. Two Watch. seconds on the shot clock, doesn't know it. Gets it away, no good, shot clock violation. Well, that's, uh, never thought I'd see that from Sunrise Academy. Now we're starting to see some of the reserves coming in for Sunrise Christian as we see Steven Soy and Joey Chang coming off the bench now. Good play Brady by Dick Sunrise. And Kennedy Chandler go to the floor. Riggs still can't find a bucket. Come on, finish strong. Oh, my goodness. Aikens is putting on a show here right now. Unbelievable left-hand dunk. Armbrester inside, lays it in. Nice job. Hey, encore, encore. Give the fans what they want, Aiken. We can't get enough of that, baby. Woo. Impressive young man. He's just a junior, I believe. Senior. Hey, where's Aiken going to next year, then? Rigsby. Oh, Rigsby with a dunk of his own, my, my. All right, Sunrise giving the rookie an opportunity. Couldn't Aikens, finish. Aikens is headed to Michigan State next year to play for Tom Izzo and the oh. Spartans. Can't wait to see what Izzo can do to take that young man to the next level. Hickman drives the lane, silly foul. Joey Zhang, good thing about that foul though is what? Well, he's, he's going to get some more points on the board, and he needs them. <laughs> Joey Zhang gets his name in the box score. <laughs> Zhang. Zhang with a foul. Hickman finishes the three-point play. Down to 28. Inside of 30 seconds to go. McDaniels travels as he lost his footing on an easy pass, easy, easy dunk, but he just lost his feet. Yeah, 30 seconds left to go. Who wants the dunk? We got a little time. Isaacs, maybe Richard can get one in, give him some confidence for tomorrow. Nice dish to Gale. Gale inside, has to give it off to Armbrester. Come on, Rigsby up top. But Armbrester's he wants it gonna get his. And there's a foul from Steven Soy. Soy commits the block. That's going to send Armbrester back to the line. 22.8 to play in this basketball game. Sunrise Christian up by 28. Second one. 
Armbrester has a routine at the free throw line. Didn't work that time, but he's been pretty pretty effective from the free throw line. Well, Bruce, Roddy, Gale coming up big again for Wasatch. Not enough, though, against Sunrise. 21 points for that young man. Second free throw, no good either. Armbrester misses them both. And a rebound for Joe Zhang. There's a foul. 17 seconds to go. Sounds like a Dolly Parton song. Joe Zhang, Joe Zhang, Joe Zhang. Make him stop, Jose. Make him stop. <laughs> we didn't even get on the greatest hits. And that's a hit coming from Bruce. All right, I'm sorry. I won't sing no more. Jaden Akins to the free throw line. Been a very, very, very impressive outing from Jaden Akins tonight. He's got eight points. I think all eight of those are on dunks. Yeah, and then I think he might get the award so far, Bruce, for uh, top dunker in the tournament. Uh, there, that, that dunk on Rigsby was by far the best dunk I've seen this tournament. Second free throw's good, 85-66. Sorry, it's a 19-point lead for Sunrise Christian. Hickman now is going to take a deep three. Oh. Of course, he hits nothing but the bottom of the net. And he does it at the end of the ball game. Garbage time. Zing inside. Willie Lightfoot. They're going to let the clock run out. That's the end of the game. 85-69 is your final here on Bowler TV. Sunrise Christian remains undefeated in this tournament. Wasatch goes into the loser's bracket. We'll be back with game number two here on day number two of the Montverde Academy Invitational TV coming at you live on Baller TV.